Our top story, the Iraqi Prime Minister has announced the launch of a ground operation to liberate the northern city of Tal Afar from Daesh terrorists. As we promised before, we promise now that we will continue the liberation process. We triumphed in all the battles we fought, while death and defeat were the fate of Daesh in all the battles they fought. In a televised address, Haider al-Abadi warned the tank theorists that they would get killed if they refused to surrender. He also hailed all forces, including the army, the police, anti-terrorism forces and popular mobilization units that are to take part in the operation. Meanwhile, thousands of Iraqi people are fleeing to the country's Kurdish region. An NGO said that the refugees near Tal Afar were faced with harsh conditions in east of Mosul and in Kurdish areas. Tal Afar, which is located west of Mosul, is one of the last areas in Iraq held by Daesh terrorists. Political analyst Jim W. Dean says Iraqis have paid a higher price to get to this point of war against Daesh terrorists. We're seeing the end of their uh, major city operational bases, uh, which is an end of uh, basically the, their being able to say they can live off the land, uh, live in cities where they have uh, people that they can prey upon uh, and also get supplies. So uh, once Telefar is done, it's going to be more of a guerrilla war uh, situation. Uh, they're going to leave their warehouses, uh, the facilities where they can make V-beds, uh, suicide vehicles, and all the other and, and uh, all the other things that make them a much more formidable uh, fighting force, <clears throat> and they'll be uh, much easier to fight. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, once Telefar uh, is taken, uh, we're going to start getting into more of a guerrilla warfare. Uh, which can be uh, a different kind of warfare and uh, very bloody. But uh, the Iraqi people and the Iraqi armed forces particularly have paid a very high price in uh, losses to get to this point. And I'm happy to see that they're involving a wide array of uh, different forces. Initially, we heard that the PMU uh, was being pressured out because the Americans didn't want them involved. And a few days ago, we heard that they were back in. Uh, which uh, really we felt was uh, necessary because they have fought very well, very hard. Uh, they're highly trained and very effective, uh, and they deserve to be in on the final battle of Telefar.